A hot summer means more drownings in Indiana waterways, two dozen already this year. DNR officers are expanding their arsenal to find drowning victims. RTV6 reporter Tony Spencer got a first-hand look at the new technology being used to bring quicker closure to drowning victims' families. In his 28 years as a DNR officer, Dwayne Ford has seen the sorrow of families of drowning victims waiting helplessly on the banks of Indiana waterways. It's really bad because the, the victims' families are, are really distraught. Uh, they want to see a closure. They want to see the body come up. And so the longer it takes for us to recover the body, the more uh, distraught the family is. Water recoveries are taxing for divers, too. But state-of-the-art technology like this submersible, remotely operated vehicle has completely changed the way divers do their jobs. The sonar clearly shows an image of a body or a car or a boat on the bottom of the body of water. This ROV can light and see images hundreds of feet under the water. It can reduce search times from hours and days to just minutes. One complete unit costs $100,000. The state just recently acquired its second one, and with 23 open water drownings so far this year, the units have been used a lot. They've already paid for themselves just in the last probably uh, six months. These objects that are coming up off the bottom cast a shadow, and that shadow gives us the best picture of what we are looking at. The side scan sonar on this boat, another pricey piece of equipment, literally grids the bottom of lakes and ponds. If we didn't have this, what we'd have to do is send divers to just swim an entire grid this entire way back and forth until they actually find something. The technology meant two divers in the lake instead of dozens, and a quick recovery of what today, luckily, was a mannequin and not a real swimmer. Tanya Spencer, RTV6. Another good thing, this technology can be used 365 days a year. It can be sent through ice and into debris places that would be dangerous for divers.